Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. In today video, in today's video we are going to continue our analysis on gold, silver, Tesla and we'll also look at Euro which we did not look at in the last uh, weekend. So we are going to look at in that quickly and see where the markets are heading and where the opportunities lie. In gold market I clearly stated that uh, because of the support line we can see that the price have moved quite in a good way not sharply down though but it had moved quite in a good way so we have to remember that the price is always always move so in the form of waves so it looks like if we check on the 15 minute chart it looks like that we have seen a good price movement from the top uh, probably some sort of uh, leading diagonal if you consider this as wave 1, this as wave 2, this as wave 3, wave 4 and wave 5. We have not actually sure that wave uh, 5 has already ended. So we'll still look at it. The point for this analysis of gold is to actually indicate the trend joining entry where if you should be entering the trade. So I'm expecting a deeper correction that uh, might happen in gold. That's how at least things are looking right now that we are going to probably see a deeper correction where exactly that it's going to turn that point and that question we'll have to wait for that. So in I'm expecting that although the main trend would actually continue downward from this point onward because we have already configured out this that this is a flat correction wave A, wave B and wave C and then we are looking that the prices would move downward. So they have moved downward but not significantly but uh, looking at some counter moves in uh, euro as well giving is an, giving me an indication that we are going to look at some sort of deeper correction so we should keep that in mind if you have not seen my previous analysis on Elliott Wave on gold please go ahead and check it out this was that was published in uh, on uh, last I think Saturday three couple of days ago it will help you see what we are seeing in the longer term in gold Let's have a look at silver. In silver, I was clearly stating that we were expecting this some sort of a leading diagonal. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and then this is correction, and then you'll move downward. I was, I had some sense that this seems does not seem to be a, a complete move for a correction, and uh, it looks like when gold is going to go up in the form of a, a deeper correction, it looks like this is going to give uh, silver a chance to maybe pull up another leg for the correction. So there is a possibility is not absolutely sure we need to look at it very closely uh, so if I have a silver trade I would probably get it out and then wait for the prices to uh, maybe give us a couple of days two or three, three days to see where the prices are heading but the main trend in silver is still stays down on the daily time frame I'm looking for the prices to come down at, at least in this support area uh, so there's a possibility that we are going to see one leg up further and then come down so please keep that in mind as far as the structure is concerned I'm considering this whole structure as wave 1 2 3 4 and 5 a leading diagonal correction and then uh, probably this will become wave A that will become wave B and that will become wave C let's have do a quick look so this will become wave A that will probably become wave B and that would become probably wave C. You need to be really careful. There's a quite possibility that wave we might not see a new high beyond this high. So be really careful in that regard. If that happens, then we'll have to consider this as top of the correction. Let me convert them back to the parameters and minor is good. Okay. And have a look at Tesla. We were expecting a turn in Tesla. Tesla has not given us that turn. It's only giving us an indication that it means that correction has moved further down. I'm still of belief that we have completed a wave A of the correction and we are going through wave B of the correction and then the larger price movement I'm expecting in Tesla to be downward. So I'm still of that concern uh, of uh, of the of that point of view. My analysis is indicating that we are going to see wave four in the uh, in the in the shape of a zigzag pattern with A, wave B and wave C that has not changed yet so if you are following Tesla you can keep in mind that mm, that's what I'm looking at it let's have a look at Euro if you want a detailed analysis of Tesla I have provided that in my previous video and I don't want to repeat it again so you can check it that out on uh, the one video published a couple of days ago 
let's have a look at Zoro. Zoro, I was expecting that we were gonna see probably this is I'm considering this whole price movement as wave one, and I'm considering this as wave A of the flat correction, wave B of the flat correction, and wave C of the flat correction. However, I wasn't sure how it's gonna happen because I was see clearly seeing a bearish trend in gold, and meanwhile the indication was different on Zoro market right so that's what i'm thinking that when gold is going to correct euro is going to push further high whenever gold is going to correct downward gold is going to euro is going to push upward so i'm point i'm of that point of view that uh, we have just completed a five wave structure starting from this bottom to right over here we have seen a correction as well so i'm considering a smaller a a smaller b and a smaller c let's see if i can do so in uh, labeling so a smaller a right over here a smaller b and then a smaller c that will give us a zigzag indication and uh, once that is complete i'm expecting that you would fall downward please keep that in mind that we're talking about weekly time weekly time frame so if you wanted to zoom in then we'll have to further zoom in and see what's happening on a daily time frame we can see some sort of double zigzag pattern very clear so single zigzag correction a double zigzag so we can consider this as w x and y and this is a good indication prices are lying in the wave 4 of previous 5 wave structure so i'm considering this as wave 1 wave 2 wave 3 wave 4 and wave 5 let's quickly label that okay so this is wave 1 this is wave 2 that's our wave 3 that's our wave 4 that's our wave 5, right? And then we have wave A, B, and C. Let's label that too. Actually, W, X, Y, Z. For some reason, I don't know how to actually call it W, X, Y, Z. So we can still call it A, B, and C, but literally they are actually W, X, and Y. There are three zigzags. Let's zoom on, on four overly chart then we can see that this is some sort of side wave price section this is not a triangle all right this is not a triangle I'm not considering this as a triangle I'm considering this as a side wave price action some sort of double uh, or triple triple correction right over here so I'm expecting this happening already so there is a possibility that we might see a little downward move downward from here giving us this probably creating a new high, a new low it's not 100% that we are going to see the point here is that as soon as the prices move out of the flag the sideways price movement we are going to see a bullish price movement and that will take us to new highs so I have taken a little position on Joro putting my stop loss somewhere over here when prices actually move beyond that then I'm going to bring that stop loss closer to that area so that's the point of view of euro and i think that euro is going to give us some very bullish nice movement and uh, that will be uh, we will be able to see that whether that becomes right or not see you guys later thank you so much wish you good luck have a good one and bye bye